What is going on, people? We're back at the door, which is my original YouTube setup. Today, I want to talk through a few different budget YouTube setups that I have gone through for a little while, so let's get into it. Usually, I'm sitting somewhere about here, um, probably zoomed in a little bit. Uh, yeah, right there at around 35. I'm normally sitting here with those things over my shoulder. You can see I normally have my light set up and now I've added my microphone set up. But I wanted to do this video to say a couple of things as far as people getting started on YouTube and just share what I've done over the last few months now, even though I've only been on the channel for a few weeks. It did take me a little while to get started because I was concerned about lighting. So what I want to do today is just go through how simple it could be to get started. We're going to start with how you could start for what I'm going to call zero dollars, how you could start for I think somewhere between 20 and 30 dollars. And then we're going to go to 100 and then we're going to go keep everything under 250. Hold up. I'm still all the way zoomed in. We don't need to be so zoomed in. Boom. Anyway. We're going to keep everything under 200 ish dollars to get a professional setup. That's even including the camera because we're going to talk about that as well. So where I'm right now is actually pretty well lit because the sun is out pretty nice outside. My face is nice and lit. My background looks pretty lit up and that's because it is really sunny outside. My first attempts at YouTube videos were shot right here. This is at my breakfast table in my house. They never got done because I don't know if you see it right now, but let's look. I have a couple of big windows here. Ooh, blowing out highlights. I could get my ND filter, but you kind of see. Window there, window there, door there. Ah, perfectly. And you could see what just happened. The lighting just changed. So now you can see my background is a little bit darker. I did have my ISO bumped up a little bit. But you can see my background is a little bit darker. My, the light on my face changed. It is really cloudy here in Atlanta. So every once in a while, as I was trying to shoot my video, the lights just kept changing too much and I didn't like the way it looked. So that prevented me from putting up my first couple of YouTube videos. I can't say now that I do have lights, that was more of an excuse than anything. Get over your excuses and just start shooting. If you have big windows, like go use your big windows. And if the light changes a little bit, so what? As long as your content's good, useful, funny, whatever it is that in your that matters in your niche, just go ahead and get it done. So that would mean, all right, now I'm shooting on a Sony RX100. However, my very first video was about the Sony RX100 and I had to shoot at least half of it on my iPhone. Everybody has a smartphone with a capable camera in 2019, almost everybody. So that means you could just move up to the light, hold your iPhone, and do your videos like this, just holding it. So that's your zero dollar setup. Get your iPhone doing, the only thing I'd say about that is, maybe you don't wanna shoot on the front facing camera, you're gonna to wanna to shoot on the rear camera because that's gonna be a better camera. Zero dollars, you could start just holding the iPhone. It might be a little bit shaky, so your $20 setup, your $20 setup, would be investing in a tripod. I have the Joby Gorillapod. I know a lot of people talk mess about the Joby Gorillapod recently because sometimes they can get a little flimsy and worn out or whatever, but I do think for a beginner, it's awesome because you can mount it to different things and depending on what it is that you're doing, if you're a food person and you wanna get an overhead shot but you wanna connect it to a part of your stove or over your stove or over your counters or whatever, the Joby Gorilla Pod just comes in very useful. So my camera right now is on the Joby Gorilla Pod 1K with the ball head mount, Joby Gorilla ball mount. Um, that's gonna run you around somewhere between 25 and $30 depending where you could find it. And then to connect the phone to that, you're gonna want one of these little clamp thingies. You could find these on Amazon for around six bucks. I will link down below. Um, but once you have that, you're good to go. You could shoot either with the phone like so, holding it like that, or again, I would prefer to use the back-facing camera and you could get started 
hook it up wherever you need to. So that is option number two. We're gonna say that for $25, just your phone, or say $30 for your phone, a Joby Gorilla Pod and a clamp to get your phone up onto it, or a tripod. I also really like, let's call it $25. I also really like the Manfrotto Pixie. It's a small little tripod that you could use as well. That's pretty awesome. That doesn't look dramatic at all, does it? Anyway, new room, different room, because this is a room that has my lights in them. Now we're jumping up to the hundred and, let's just call this a hundred or $130 because you're probably still gonna need the tripod. But for extra $100, we can add light store situation. And again, even though I'm getting some bright lights out of these windows, the changing of the clouds and all that definitely hindered me from starting. What did get me started was going out and buying some lights. Now the lights that I bought were the Fovitech Studio Pro light set. It comes with a pair of lights a pair of soft boxes, and a pair of stands for only $100. That is not eating out for a week and sacrificing and eating some lunch at home. And you could have studio quality lights. Let me show them to you. Right, so let's go ahead and shut these blinds just to prove the point. So, this is what my setup eventually started looking like. So again, the Fovitech Studio Pro lighting kit. It comes with two lights, $499.95 on Amazon. Link down below as well. As you can see, I have one light, which is my quote unquote key light. Both of them are the same size. Um, lighting my face, I try to get it as close as possible to being in the frame when it is that you're seeing me sitting down. All of the videos, all but one of the videos that you've seen before this, um, were shot using these lights. Um, they are, they kind of are what they are. They're not bad lights. They are, I think they're great for beginner YouTubers. I'm not an expert, but I mean, to get a decent sized softbox um, to set this up is even in my interview style interviews that you saw the creative spotlight with Willie Chin was shot with these lights. So awesome, awesome, awesome lights. Let me just show you how I have them set up. So in a situation like what you just saw, I had one of these up top on my face. And then typically what I'll do is just put the other one down below, just kind of to be my fill light to fill out this side of my face. And right now this one's actually a little bit closer than I normally have it. So the thing, the only, the big knock against these lights, I think is that there's no dimmer. But if you've never had lights before and you're coming from, again, using sunlight, so when the sun just dims whenever it wants to. Again, this was a big, big step up. Not only did it allow me to have the confidence to shoot during the daytime, but at nighttime, I was also able to knock videos out as well or when it was raining or just not sunny outside. Let's turn these off. These little lights. Ooh, 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 that's super dramatic right there. Ooh, ooh. All right. <laughs> Last setup here, let's just jump into it again. I could still light the background up and keep that light in the background, but this nice soft light that you see on me here, and actually it's not turned up in intensity, so let me just go ahead and do that real quick. Woo! Now this nice big soft light that I have on me here is coming from the Godox SL60W, which is supposed to be a budget Aperture 120D. As a starting off YouTuber, I'm not gonna spend $1,000 on a lighting setup. However, I was able to get this whole setup here for around $200 and it comes with a big soft dome. I'm using a Photo Deox um, light dome, parabolic light dome. So let me just show that to you real quick. So that's super huge light dome. And it might be a little dark here. Let me bump up my ISO. And there you go, with the Photo Deox light dome. So, let's bump this back down. So yeah, those are my lighting setups. Let me jump back and set up the whole studio thing and then I will just detail 
what it is that we just went through. All right, so this is my eventual setup here. Now, this is the Godox SL60W with the photo deox big light dome that I showed you guys before. This is a really awesome light. It's a great budget light. Again, if you do have a little bit of extra cash, you could get this for, I think the light is 150 bucks online. And then the big parabolic dome is an additional 80 or so dollars, 85 I think. Links will be down below. I have a couple of lights lighting up my background back there. The Fovitex lights that you saw before, sometimes I put them in the back to light up my background. It looks a little bit better at nighttime. Let me just grab my phone and I can show you guys kind of what that looks like. So this is what my setup looks like. Big old light dome. <clears throat> and then you can see that I actually still have a ghetto setup because again, I'm not stopping and waiting getting started. My tripod is actually not a tripod. This is a speaker stand that one of my friends left at my house and I'm using that with the Gobi Gorilla Pod wrapped around it and the camera on top. F screen flips up so I could see it and over there you could see what is typically my audio setup. I've started recording on my Rode NT2A but again, that's not even something that you need. If you're filming just on your iPhone, you could hear the audio of this. It sounds just good enough. But the major, major, major takeaway is you need none of this. I hope this is helpful in getting some one of you started. You don't need perfect. Done is better than perfect every single time. Start creating, get creative, start creating your videos and put it out there. Trust me, someone is waiting on your particular content and your particular perspective to get their things done. So get to work, get to stuff, do not wait on lighting. The other thing I forgot to mention while it is that I was showing you guys all the other things is, if you don't have big windows in your house, then shoot outside. There's nothing wrong with shooting outside. Go outside when the weather is good and get your stuff done. So again, I hope this inspires some of you to get started everywhere from just with your smartphone or your smartphone and a little tripod setup or if you do have the extra 100 or 200 dollars to invest in some lights you could get a lighting setup and start get started but start getting creative check out the website creativetechlab.com as we build out that platform we will cover everything creative from music production video creation audio engineering some photography and game design and animation and everything else in between thank you for watching this long if you're here with me check out some of the other videos that we've done before and hit the notification button, hit the subscribe button. You will not be disappointed, and I will catch you in the next one. Bow, 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 bow. Bow.